my this is my tent here. And underneath this uh this is all black actually. You pull this in front of the tent, you can't see the tent at all. It's all covered up. I'm in San Diego, California. My name is Leslie Williams. I'm a target of what is known as organized gang stalking. And I make these videos before I leave my hiking area. Uh, you can go to YouTube and type in Learning Disabled Woman Catches Gang Stalker Admitting Put on Bus to Harass. And look at a comment feature of that YouTube video. The description feature. You'll see another video that was made at least two months prior to me catching the three teenagers admitting to what they were admitting to. And what they were admitting to was literally described by me in the video that's in the comment feature of that video two months prior. And there's also another video that I made on November 11th concerning how he's describing the same exact gestures and tactics being used on me over at USD. Yeah. And, uh, so there's undeniable proof that I'm a victim of this crime. Here's today's date. And this is my hiking area. That proof was shown to the San Diego police, and they totally ignored it and said it wasn't evidence. Now, uh, and that's because they're directly involved in this crime, which I have undisputable proof they are. But here's the thing. What they do with targets over this crime is they call them crazy. By saying gang stalking don't exist. And what you're, so what you're uh, verbalizing in reference to what you think you're experiencing sounds like a mental illness. Because that's the whole motivation behind these expeditions is to try and claim the target is mentally ill. So they can take over their finances, exploit their insurance, and exploit a target sexually in a syndicated run organized crime group home. They're directly connected to. Google a gang stalking tech everything you need to know. Flat out states even entire police departments have been taken over. Okay? It talks about how the courts are the favorite place to trap a target. It's called mincing the meat. And what they do is basically do nothing but target people on disability. They're also into human experimentation and research. And if you look at the manifesto, research is mentioned throughout the entire manifesto. And that they consider as targets as nothing but lab rats. And that's where the remote neural monitoring comes into play at. In reference to the neural manipulation. And also the behavioral influencing technology they are also directly... Uh, that they directly have in their uh, technological resources that are connected to these expeditions of organized gang stalking. The whole goal is to create homelessness of a target to then try and claim the target cannot take care of themselves because they're homeless and don't want to get out of the situation, even though they're the ones who create the homelessness. Yes, by go to Google and type in, in gang stalking or organized stalking and how they run apartments next to targets, how uh, landlords and property owners are on board in these schemes, how police officers are, how corrupt mental health is, ah, doctors, psychiatrists are mentioned throughout the entire manifesto, how postal employees are involved in organized gang stalking, and that's directly connected to stealing or delaying mail that's pertinent to a target surviving or getting legal assistance or rent that is mailed. Because the whole goal is to put them out on the street and then claim they're crazy in reference to how they're complaining or trying to make police reports about what's happening to them as a result of a gang stalking. And then what they do then is file falsified police reports that target is delusional, bipolar, schizophrenic, paranoid schizophrenic, uh, schizoaffective, anything that they can do to discredit the target because the accumulated police reports and doctor reports, the corrupt mental health and psychiatrist reports, are used to contain a target to take syndicated legal control of a target through a corrupt syndicated probate attorney and syndicated probate judge. That's where the finances are taken over, the Medicare is in, uh, exploited, and a target is exploited also sexually in a syndicated run, organized crime group home. And they'll even take a target off of Social Security. Why? So they can create complete financial destitution and then take advantage of the circumstances as a result that are created as a result of the financial destitution, which eventually in turn will cause a target to run to the system while they're still being openly harassed overtly along your routes, assaulted along your routes, incidences are staged along your routes, including with staging the incidences, using anybody in the community for it. Go to YouTube and type in gang stalking balloon on steroids, and then go to YouTube and type in listen to a stranger. That's in part how they can get anybody in the community. It shows you an illustration about how they can dupe anybody to do something for them based on a badge, whether it be a fake badge or directly attached to a syndicated police officer. The whole goal is to take custody of a target. Okay, they will even take a target off of Social Security, and Medicare workers are flat out mentioned in the manifesto. To take, they'll even take a target off Social Security, wait till they can get a hold of them as a result of what happens to a target in between trying to survive the accumulated police reports and doctor reports. Then they'll take legal custody of a target and then reapply for benefits in their name. Mm -hmm. 
The whole goal is to commit these crimes to discredit the truth and to discredit the target in order to not only cover up the crimes that are happening, but to also get custody of a target to exploit them. They treat people like straw people. They go after single women, single mothers, people on disability, uh, the elderly, they're in the trust fund liquidation, property co-opting, land co-opting, mortgage co-opting, identity theft, human trafficking, sexual servitude rings, prostitution rings, and I would not doubt whatsoever they're into drug dealing as, as well. And I make these videos in order to inform, hang on, in order to inform, to expose the real truth. In the manifesto it clearly states that entire police departments have even been taken over. Now, you're going to have to thoroughly and meticulously dissect everything that I stated here in reference to the description of what I stated and cross-reference to organized gang stalking or gang stalking at YouTube and Google, including the technological resources that I have mentioned. Go to Freedom From Covert Harassment and Surveillance. On the bottom of their homepage is three PDF links. I strongly suggest you scrutinize that. You can also YouTube Connie Marshall. She's not, and everything I described in reference to people also cross reference to gang stalking. Jesus Mendoza, Leslie Crawford, Connie Marshall, Leslie Williams, which is me, uh, James Walbert, yes. And you'll come to understand the factual realities concerning these expeditions, these crimes, who's involved, how they're connected, how they operate. And then you can make sense of the truth as a result of the, your meticulous research. Now, in the manifesto, again, it clearly states that entire police departments have been taken over by these organized crime syndicates. Go to surveillanceissues.com and thoroughly scrutinize what's on their webpage. That'll blow your mind. Because this is organized crime in the system that is not only allowing these crimes to happen, but they're directly involved in them. They're aiding and abetting in the expedition itself and in protecting it to make sure it never gets exposed in reference to the truth of the matter. They will also use what is known as the community notification to send out to the business community and institutions like libraries, including the universities, in order to get them on board in the harassment of the target through sensitization tactics that are that is a direct method of organized gang stalking. I gotta get today's date is 12 18 2012, and we're gonna see if they come to my hiking area using anybody, anybody to come here to create an incident or to point the finger that I'm here so the police can come and take a police report. Because remember what I said about how they, they'll offer them services like to go to a homeless shelter? Targets, if, if you're a target of this crime and you don't know the entire scope of who's involved, the target might believe they can go to a homeless shelter and get help. Services. They go there, they sign all these papers as a result of the homeless shelter making it look like the services are very attractive. They sign the papers and once those papers are signed, they start the organized gang stalking in the homeless shelter to provoke a target to leave. So they can then continue the expedition in reference to a target going back to their hiking area. And then later on, another incident is, 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 is staged in order to make it look like the police have a, a, a legitimate reason to re-approach the target at another campsite or the same one. And then say, didn't we offer you these services? Why didn't you take them? And, you, and then the target says, well, because I was harassed nonstop. And they say, well, how were you harassed? The target starts to explain it, and then the police officers who already know what's going on because they're literally connected to these crimes will say, well, that sounds crazy. Why would people be doing physical gestures towards you, the sensitization tactics? Yeah, and the direct conversation tactics towards you, they don't even know you, okay? Yeah, and then that's where they make a police report that you're delusional or paranoid schizophrenic because remember what I said, it's that the accumulated documentation is what they use to contain the target, to exploit the target. They act like they don't know what these crimes are. Bullshit. Go to YouTube and type in gang stalking bullying on steroids. A Santa Cruz police officer flat out talks about gang stalking. My name is Leslie Williams. I expose these crimes so people become not only aware, but they, so they can see the methods and tactics and maneuvers and schemes that are used in order to not only get this corrupt, illegal, syndicated probate attorney control of a target, but what a target also goes through as a result of trying to survive and expose the truth. Thank you.